Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to day four of the holiday card series for 2022. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you got the notice. Today's video includes a giveaway. So let's get into the giveaway stuff and then we'll quickly get to the card because I know a lot of you are here for the card. A couple of months ago when Lawn Fun came out with their autumn and holiday release, they sent me a box with everything in the release. And then a week later, another box came and I was really confused. I'm like, what is going on? Turns out there was some error and they sent me two. So I contacted Kelly over at Lawn Fun and she said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, don't send it back. Just give away the second set. So here we are. Um, this is the entire uh, holiday release. I already gave away the autumn and fall. So here's the set for one lucky viewer. Um, so there's a link down below in the video description. Just click on over, fill out that form. Please only enter once. Um, everyone has an equal opportunity to win and the winner will be drawn next Thursday. So pretty much a week from now. And then the winner will be emailed and uh, their name will be added to the video description on this video. So if you're wondering like, did I win and I missed the email, you could come back and look at the video description on this video. This only, this is the only video it will be on. Look down below and it will have the winner's name. So welcome, welcome. Um, I'm gonna quickly go through what is in this giveaway pack and then we will get into the actual crafting because that's what we're here for, right? Okay, so um, cute little, little stamps right here. This is Snow One Like You with matching dies. Sorry, this is gonna be a little fast. Say What Holiday Critters with dies. You can put the little greetings in the little top bubble. So, so cute. I'm gonna put these down so they're in the same order. Okay, they've got a few different items for warm weather Christmas, which is totally fun. This one is called Beachy Christmas with coordinating dies. Love that Santa and Hawaiian shirt, so funny. And then right back to the winter, we're looking at Frosties. I love these snowflakes. They're so fun and playful. This one's adorable. I just saw them do stuff with this on their YouTube channel recently. This is Ugly and Bright. You can like dress the critters in different sweaters. So, so cute. Angie's asking, is the giveaway international? Yes. I will mail it to whoever wins. And it's randomly drawn. Um, yeah. So go and enter. All right, uh, the snowball fight stamp set, so cute. Lots of great action things to add to your cards. All right, we've got some hot foil plates. This is the Snowflake Duo. I love those snowflakes. We've also got Winter Big Scripty Words hot foil. And this one, what is it called? Snowflake background, hot foil plate. I just want to do that as an embossing folder. I think that'd be amazing. You can use like an embossing mat and use it that way. This is giant outlined, oh what fun. You can kind of see what it looks like on the back there. So cute. This one is build a snowman. And this one you really do have to see their example because there are so many little pieces that you're like, what exactly is that gonna be? We've got Deck the Car. Super cute. That's what it kind of looks like on the back. To enter the giveaway, there's a link down below in the video description. Just click on through and fill out the form. This is another a warm weather Christmas one. This is Christmas Palm Tree. And this is the one we're going to be using today. This is the giant outlined Merry and Bright. So I'm going to set this one aside because I'm going to need that. And then we've got Snow Flurry's Backdrop. Oh, I forgot this one. It wasn't in with their other dies. This is Giant Happy Hanukkah. Love that. I need all the Hanukkah stuff because I don't have very much. I just ordered a bunch from Simon. It's coming soon. So hopefully I can do a couple Hanukkah cards. Hanukkah starts on, I think, the 18th this year. So fun. Love it. 
when it's, when it's really early in December, it sneaks up on me and I'm like, what? <laughs> and then I don't have time to send a Hanukkah card to my Jewish friends. Okay. This is nitpicky winter. I love the nitpicky line of pattern papers. So, so cute. And then we've got a couple stencils here at the back. We've got birch tree stencils and it looks like you've got, yeah, you've got both. You have like the positive and the negative. And then Snow Flurry's background stencil. That's kind of a little hard to see and kind of see up there. Just kind of like just snow. All right, so that is everything that is in the pack going to the giveaway winner. And now I'm going to set all of this aside. And we're focusing on this one die today. All right, so I'm going to be heavily referencing this back here because I'm like, okay, what, like where, what colors do I need to work with to get this to work right? So let's get the die out. I do know that I want to have an, like a sparkle alcohol ink background. And it looks like the blue is the blue area is the most visible with that. So I'm going to do a, an alcohol ink background that's going to take place with that blue. And then um, I like that they have the words and everything as a white outline. So I die cut the outline pieces four times and I've stacked three of them. I'll show you how I stack that fourth one on top when we get to it. But for now, let's go ahead and start on that alcohol ink background. If any of you have been watching me for any period of time, you know that um, I don't like to get my hands dirty. Like I have this aversion to like ink on my hands. So this is very dangerous doing this live. <laughs> so please, um, uh, please send me happy thoughts. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. All right. So this is silver sparkle alcohol ink cardstock. It's linked down below. If you want to pick it up, this is really fun to work with. And <laughs> I have a glove. I'm going to be wearing this glove on my right hand as I open all the bottles and use all the ink. And I have three different colors of alcohol ink that I've picked out. Hopefully they work out. Sometimes you just don't know. We might have to change them up on the fly here. I've got Laguna, Meadow, and Red Pepper. So um, Meadow and Red Pepper, this is the old packaging, but they just have, they just have new packaging now. It looks like this. But those are the colors that I'm going to be using. And also, I have the little squeezy sprayer thingy. Looks like I'm trying to clear an infant's nose. And um, and then I've got the blending solution. Seriously, okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of the blending solution down. Kind of like adding water to your watercolor paper, right? And I'm just gonna get that moving a little bit. This can be a totally messy background, not a big deal. All right, and then. I just start, I kind of want a lot of red and then I can start to like use this little air blowy tool thing to kind of move it around. And by doing a layer of the blending, whoa, hello. Oh, it just got all over my arm. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's, gonna, that's never going to come. It looks like a murder scene. <laughs> this is bad. And I got it on my white watch band. Okay. All right. That just means it's going to be an awesome background, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go to the teal. All right. I just got to be like a little more careful as I blow the air across. Okay. I wish you could see how this is glowing. Maybe I can tip it up. Yeah, it is glowing. And I'm gonna go to the green. And gently, I don't wanna get, get too excited with this because apparently that's when your craft room looks like a murder scene. So don't do that. Okay, this is not doing justice. I wish you could see this. Look how bright that is. Like it's not, oh, I'll just tip it. We'll get some dripping here. 
Oh, that looks kind of cool. Let's help it. I do love where the colors are going, but it's not anything like I was anticipating. Okay, splat box for the win. Yeah, that, why didn't you tell me that earlier? I'm gonna have to take some blending solution to this and see if I can get it out. Let's hope. <laughs> Otherwise, every time I use, uh, or every time I use this watch band, I'm gonna look at it. All right, I'm gonna add some blending solution. Just a little, a few little drops. I'm gonna start flowing it again. Just because I want a little more interest. You know what, I should have left it. See, this is what happens, you just don't know. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting some more interesting spots. And I'm gonna add some more red. Just because I want there to be lots of red. Oh, you guys are not, seriously, it looks so pretty from where I am. It looks more like this. That's what it looks like to me. But you guys are seeing it all dark. It's so weird. Okay, it's a little too much silver popping through right here. So I'm gonna use a little of that green. Let's get that teal coming right through there. And then let's use the air. And I can also tip. Oh, I'm loving these colors together. They're kind of like almost like jewel tones. So dramatic. I love that. All right. I think I'm going to stop there because I'm tempted to do more, but uh, I know. Christina, step away. Okay. So we, I'm removing my gloves. This might be a bad choice, but I'm removing them. And then I'm just going to put the caps on. And I'm also going to um, set this aside to dry because it's got some pretty heavy ink spots. And so it needs to dry before I start handling it. But it's really, really pretty. I, you can start to see some of the sparkle coming through. So pretty. Seriously, look at that. It just shines. Talk about the perfect background for a merry and bright card. Look at that. I'm coming back to the die cut. And... I'm also, before I do any of that, I want to finish the rest of the die cutting. So as you can see, there's um, the interior of the letters that need to be cut. And then I could also do like the little sparkles of different color if I wanted to. I don't think I do. I think there's a, enough going on with that kind of background that I kind of just want to let that take center stage. So I'm just going to do the centers of the words and then the little centers on the little sparkles. and. I have decided to use Lawn Fawn Silver cardstock for this background. Well, I'm calling it a background anyway. Um, what I did was I, I'm using some Gina K Connect glue with one of her bottles. And what I did was I just kind of, I went around and did little dots around each letter. And I do it this way because I want to make sure I hit all of areas. So I've done the M, I'm now doing the E. And I like to just have some sort of systematic way of doing it so that I don't miss any areas. And I'm also making sure that I hit every like corner, like the corners on the H's right here, or H, there's only one. Um, I want to make sure that I get those corners well, because those are the spots that probably pull up. Okay. And then around the outside edge, I did a continuous line of glue, just a thin one. There we go. And then I quickly laid 
the final one on top. And then I went through and just pressed down over each area, making sure it was lining up. Because sometimes, because some of these little areas in the interior don't want to line up quite right. And our background is dry. Oh, it is so pretty on that sparkle background. Stop it. All right, let's lift this up. Got the tape on the back still. Oh, this is going to be so cute. I'm going to be doing the white. Oh, you know what? I, you can hardly see the background through it. I was kind of hoping that more of it would kind of show. Huh. I'm not going to use the silver. I want the background to show through. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm changing. I'm changing course. I'm not going to do the silver. Um, but I do have the little interior stacked pieces for the B and the R's. And then I kind of want to get this centered. It's not centered, but that's okay. I can cut it down so it is centered. Okay. And then put that on there flat. Ta-da. Okay. All right. How are we doing, honey? Oh, we're doing pretty good. I think that is adhered. Oh, my word. Look how cool that looks. And now I'm just going to cut off a little off that one side. I'm putting some... Tombow Extreme Adhesive. You know what? I'm going to put it on the card because this is bumpy. <laughs> so I'm putting it right up next to each edge. And then I'm going to do some diagonal stripes going down the side and get a little bit more adhesive because this is the side that's going to get cut off. Alrighty. And then lining up this corner because it's the one that has to stay on the card. Press that down. About like that looks right to me. So I'm going to do very, very light pressure as I cut through basically three layers. I've got the background and then I've got the front of the card and then the back of the card. There we go. Ta da! So, really, that was about a half inch, maybe a little more, like five eighths. But not bad. And I love that there's so little bit of that silver on the edge. This was a good call, you guys. It was a good call. And the second one, or the third R, I should say. So, little behind the scenes info for y'all. When I'm doing these lives, I have my iMac that's like sitting in front of me and I can see what you guys see. And I totally use it as like an overhead shot or overhead view of my project. So as I'm putting these down, um, I will often like, I'm not looking down at my hands, I'm looking at the screen so that I can get everything centered just right. It's kind of fun, okay. So there's the last one. So here is the card for day four of the holiday card series. Oh my word, it looks so beautiful in the light. All that sparkle and the colors just are beautiful. Wow, I'm always so like impressed with alcohol backgrounds. I practically did nothing. It's all in the product itself. I love it so much. Anyway, that is day four of the holiday card series for 2022. I'll be back on Monday with day five. We're moving right along here. One fifth of the holiday card series will be complete as of Monday. Isn't that crazy? All right. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys on Monday. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.